Finally, I would like to quickly uh, just briefly talk about the structure of a bone, of a long bone. A long bone is characterized by a long shaft. It doesn't have to be very long, but there's a, sh there's a shaft. And then the ends of the shaft are expanded. <coughs> Sorry. The ends of the shaft are expanded. So you have, for example, this is the femur. Now, a finger, the, phalange, the phalanges of the finger, the bones of the finger, they are... Uh, they are very small. You can see how small there is. There's three of them. But they are long bones because their structure is also like so. And then the extremities are expanded. So any structure that resembles th any bone resembling this characteristic is characterized is called a. And we will cut it here. We take a cut here and we take this area here and we. Here we go. We show it that area here, and we're going to look. This is an eye, okay, like an eye looking at it from top. So this is what we see. So after we cut it, it looks like this. Then we look from top. You can see that the bone is surrounded by a connective tissue, a dense connective tissue called the periosteum. And the inside layer, the outside layer is covered by periosteum. The inside layer, this is the cavity of the bone. This is the empty space here. And the inside wall of the bone is covered by endosteum, periosteum outside, endosteum inside. Next, if we look at uh, this any area in this white portion, for example here, and we zoom in, so here, this is the endosteum, periosteum, and this is the inside cavity, this is outside of the bone, well not uh, this external environment, so periosteum, endosteum. Looking closely at this white area, you see these circular structures. These are called osteons. And osteons are really uh, uh, contain uh, these little openings, these canals, go all the way down, all the way at the length of the bone. These canals uh, through which blood vessels and nerves will pass through. And they're surrounded by the lamella, which run in circles around these haversian canals okay and we'll get to specific structure of these con uh, these osteons later on in histology so here is you have your osteons with haversian canals in the center and the lamella running in circular around them the structure of the bone consists of the shaft of the bone is called the diaphysis okay this is the shaft the ends, the extremities, the expansions, are called the epiphyses, two of them. And this area in between diaphyses and epiphyses is called the metaphyses. Metaphyses, I didn't write it here. Epiphyses, diaphyses, metaphyses. Metaphyses is the site of growth, where the bone elongates. Okay, we'll get to that later. And uh, here I just show you now. Just quickly, the metaphysis looks something like this, where you have various layers, which we will also discuss later. Finally, I would like to mention that the periosteum does not cover all of the bone. It only mainly covers the diaphysis, and perhaps in the femur, in this area as well. But the ends of the bone where articulation happens, for example, in the femur, the head is here, and down here is the base. So the ends where the articulation with other bones takes place is not even bone no periosteum there and no bone there it's cartilage okay it's cartilage and it's hyaline cartilage called articular cartilage the diaphysis is is hollow inside okay here we have hollow space called the medullary cavity okay whereas the epiphyses contain like spongy bone the bone is has is like looks like going like this so there's all these spaces in between so the lines indicate bones and then the, the spaces in between those are uh, cavities from the medullary cavity continues with the medullary cavity so it's spongy whereas here medullary cavity but here this is compact bone that forms the wall of the epith of the diaphysis is the compact bone the compact bone is very very strong so it's not spongy like the epiphysis it's compact it's no spongy like it's full of bone there is no spaces like in the spongy bone okay and here I will show you the structure of the compact bone here 
So here is a colorful picture of the bone structure. So as you can see when you cut it, you look here, there is the medullary cavity, the opening. Here is the compact bone. See, it's very compact, no spaces here, very strong. And then in epiphysis, all of a sudden you get spongy bone. Okay, spongy bone. And here it will be your cartilage. Here, there will be cartilage there. And you can see blood vessels penetrate the bone and they run through this medullary cavity and into the spongy bone. And you should see here this yellow, that is fat, called yellow marrow. It's fat. And that just fills the medullary cavity of the diaphysis. The epiphysis doesn't have fat. It has marrow, but not yellow marrow. It has red marrow. And red marrow is the site of blood cell production, hematopoiesis. So that will take place at the epiphysis, at the ends of the long bone, and the diaphysis filled with fat. Blood vessels, of course, run through them. And if you look here, in a, they show you a closer view, this blue area around the bone, around the compact bone of the diaphysis, is the periosteum. And the inside, covered by endosteum. And here, this is the compact bone, you see the osteons. And there are tiny haversion canals through which blood vessels run through. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Bye.